Ladies and gentlemen, I have the results in my hand. Contestants, good luck. Your winner is... Okay, honestly, this has every single letter in the alphabet in it. I cannot read whoever wrote this. What was that? It's upside down? Oh, your winner is... The Philippines! <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I'm trying something new with the white background kind of thing, like my own backdrop, like a very Walmart version of James Charles. And literally, my hair is so big and poofy, it's already reaching the top of the frame of the camera, and I'm really, 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 really shook. If you saw my last video, and if you didn't, I don't blame you because... Mm. But me and Elena talked about the most prestigious pageant of the world. The universe, rather. Um, you've already used that joke? What? No, I didn't. Um, yeah you did, in the last video, don't you remember? Hey, shh, we're on our budget, remember? We can't afford new jokes. <gasps> Never mind then. And from that very low-key intro, the Philippines won again. Obviously, this is not my first time watching it. It's more like my first, third time watching it. And what most people don't realize is that that Steve Harvey incident that people keep referencing happened with the Miss Universe 2015 winner, the Philippines. But since the three years I've been watching this pageant, I couldn't help but get curious. Which never is a good thing, but it made me think what my dream pageant experience would be like. And of course, I get the crown because I am a queen. Okay, let me stop you right there. Budget. Uh, what I mean to say is, all those Elizabeth and Marys are quaking in their boots, sis. See. Si. But today, I'm gonna show you guys some of the few of the many possibilities that could happen if I join a pageant. Time for this number 95, and what will you be doing for us today? Well, I will be singing an original song I prepared for you guys today. Oh, okay, well, I can't wait to hear it. Um, you can start whenever you're ready. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, baby, yeah, the end. Okay, so now that you've warmed up, oh, no, that was the song. Oh, oh, so did I make it in? Oh, um, yes, uh, definitely. Oh, my lips look really chapped. Hey, hey, number 32, can I borrow your chapstick? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't understand you in your foreign language. Excuse me? You always act like you know everything because you're bilingual. Um, trilingual, actually. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You think you're more smarter. You think you have a higher intelligence. You think your brain is bigger. You think you have a higher IQ. You think you're more smarter. But then you big young moko young chapstick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody calm down. It's just chapstick. <laughs> Are you serious? That's it. Oh, my hair! Calm down, 32. It's just a wig. And the 10th and final person to join the top 10 is... Matthias, number 25. Oh, are you serious? This is a scam! Matthias, number 54. Your question is... What are three things you would change for the President of the United States right now? Oh, um, uh, uh w w well, uh... And stop. 54, I am so sorry, but you have run out of time. Now it is Matthias 86's turn. Number 86, your question is, what is two plus two? <sighs> okay, okay, I got this. Um, can I get a definition? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the Dollar Store 2018 crown is Matthias number two! Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Steve. I've been dreaming of this moment ever since I started this video. Matthias number two, you know what time it is. Take your first steps as the new dollar store crown! Why, of course. And that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below and comment down below what kind of videos you guys want me to make. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Ba-boom!